Hello guys, it's Xiaomi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bedroom tour, yes. I posted this photo on Instagram recently and I asked if you guys want to see a bedroom tour and some of you said yes, so I thought let's do it. I finally have my room looking the way I want it, so I'm really excited to share with you some DIYs that I did and also a few tips here and there on how to make your room look really aesthetic and maximising the space that you have because my room is not the biggest. But I absolutely love it right now. I feel like I've definitely used the space really wisely and it's still looking like an aesthetic bedroom. So I hope you guys enjoy a few tips that I've got to share. And I also hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get straight to the room tour. Okay, hello and welcome to my door. So as every room tour, we all start off from the door. And as soon as you walk in my room, here it is. So first I'll start off with this little section right here. This is my little inspirational section. <laughs> I love it. But this is basically just where I keep my jewelries. I also have this custom made little poster that I believe is from Des and Neo. I will list everything down below in the description box. But I love this because you can customize the quote that is on it. We can get this, basically this painting, abstract, whatever you want to call it, this art thing. And it's basically like holding hands. And this is one of my favorite Bible verses by Deuteronomy 31.8. And it's, I will be with you. It's a really good verse. It's gold frame. The frame is from Ikea. And I got this jewelry stand, which is from H&M. And I believe this jewelry stand is from the bathroom section in H&M home. But I just really like it because I like how the jewelry sits on it. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a gold girl. I absolutely love gold jewelries. It's all I ever wear. Gold and pearl is definitely my go-to jewelry and diamante. Like I've got a few diamante pieces here that I really like as well. But this is just where I keep my jewellery. I hang my necklaces on this section and then I hang my hoops. I really like hoops as well on this section. And then this bit you can put like rings on it. I don't really wear rings, like I'm not really a huge fan of rings. But I keep a few of the hoops that has like open backs that won't hook onto this. And I keep that here and also with some more dangly earrings. I really like these. These are so pretty. And then I only have one perfume. I'm not a huge perfume collector, like I'm not really bothered, but um, I do like to wear perfume and if I do like something, I use that up first before getting a new one. So my current scent is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I really love this one. I love the fresh, clean scent that Daisy Marc Jacobs is. It used to be a Love Story by Chloe, but currently, this is my smell. <laughs> So this little section, I have my diffuser. This one is from Muji. And I really like this because it gives off a really nice scent and it's so like therapeutic, so relaxing looking. The scent that I'm using, this one is also from Muji. It's an essential oil called, what is it called? Relax. That's the scent and this is the ingredients if some of you are curious. The ambiance at night is super, super pretty and really, obsessed with this section of the room but i just want to have like a really nice aesthetic when it comes to my room my style is very clean airy a few plants here and there and also a few pop of color here and there i also really love rattan style furniture so this one i actually got from ikea and it was the bargain corner and i got it a few years ago so i thought it was really cute to put a small plant in there so i just popped that in there and then these three as a trio is just like a vibe. And then this little basket is from Ikea. This plant is also from Ikea. And I just think it's like a really nice little moment here. It's on like a stool that is also from Ikea. And then to make it super vibey, I put up this neon sign that was gifted to me. And it says dream big. And I love it because it gives the room a really nice feel like a really nice modern feel and I just really like it. It kind of reminds me of like a cafe or something. <laughs> I 
So this section of my room is my makeup collection but I really like to have compact space, I really like to have minimal looking storages so I just put all my stuff in the Alex drawers. If you guys want to see a makeup collection let me know because I'd be more than happy to. I did try to organise it, like for example these are my concealers. My favourite drawer I think is this one, this one is the body, like the body shimmer stuff. This one also is one of my favourite drawers because it has, oops, it has some lipsticks in there. And yeah. If you guys want to see like a makeup collection tour, let me know in the comments and I will do it. Oh, a good tip as well is behind this curtain is mess. <laughs> Literally mess. If you open it up, it's just, some of my filming stuff is in there. I've got some lights as well and it's just, it's just a mess, like let's let's not get into that. But a good tip is if you are not into looking at the mess or anything like that, I actually got a tension rod. So what it is, is both ends are being kept up by the wall and also this drawer. And you can adjust the rod taller and shorter depending on the width of your curtain. And what I did was I just literally, like I'll show you closer. So this is the rod. So you don't have to drill it or anything, it's just tension. So it's, ten so it's held up between the cupboard and on the other side by the wall and it's a very cheap alternative compared to getting a new wardrobe or getting new drawers or anything i also added some plant in there to give it a bit more of a vibe so that it matches the whole room so next up is this diy wardrobe that i made with carl and all I did was installed a ceiling curtain rod thing and I just added some curtains from Ikea. The curtains were 13 pounds or less, I believe. But it just, it's just a nice little way to have an alternative to a wardrobe. I used to have this white wardrobe and then like some, sh like some boxes on top and it just looked a bit of a mess. But I feel like doing it this way, it looks more neater, it looks more aesthetic and I just love it. The curtains are floor to ceiling so it literally covers all the mess that is inside. And this is what's inside. It's just my clothes. So in here is just my clothes and some skincare products. It's not the neatest but that's why I have the curtain because I don't get to see it. <laughs> and this, as you can see, this little rod thing are actually also suspension rods that I got from I believe it's Wayfair but I will list it down below if you guys are not into drilling or if you guys are not into you know the whole DIY shebang where you have to drill rods or anything like that this is actually semi-permanent rods and it can handle 25 kg on each rail like if you can oh there you go if you can see that rod it's held by the floor and also, there you go, by the ceiling. What's good about this rod actually, it comes with a, where is it? There you go. It comes with this, like a little stick thing. So what I do is when I want a clothing, I just grab it. Okay, this is a fail. Then I just do this and I get the top. And then I just hang it on one of the rods so that it's nice and put away. But this wardrobe rail thing is so much more cheaper than a full on wardrobe and you can actually extend it so this little rod can go all the way across and you can also have the length of it a little bit higher if you wanted to if you've got a bigger room. This bit I actually did drill. Let me open it up a bit more. I drilled a shelf from Ikea and it just holds up a few more stuff in there. And then this section, I just have my table and also some of my filming gear. So I just whack it on there whenever I'm not filming. And then I just do this. And I love it because if you don't see it, you don't have to stress about the mess. <laughs> and that's my little makeshift wardrobe slash storage section. <laughs> So this little section right here is where I have, like by the chair, so it's nice and fitting. So when I want a bit of a read, 
I'll grab my chair, I'll grab my books and I'll sit here. This is my little collection of the books that I really like to read. I love reading inspiring stuff. I love reading Christian books especially. This one is by Joel Osteen. I really love this book. So this little book right here is called I Declare 31 Promises to Speak Over Your Life by Joel Osteen. And I love, if you've not heard of Joel Olsen before, he's basically a Christian preacher. He does like really nice inspirational books, little quotes or little nice life points to, to dwell over every morning, you know. <laughs> Another good book as well is this one, also by Joel Osteen. It's called Every Day of Friday. As you can see, I've read this quite a bit. But I love this because it just gives like little nice ways to get through life. Add a smile to your resume. I love it. It's really good. Of course, the book of all books, the Holy Bible. We need some of that. I keep my devotionals in there. I do a lot of journaling as well. Like just like to keep it right there. And then this little thing is also from Ikea. The vase is from Ikea. And then this section is just another Bible verse that I really love. This is one of my favorite Bible verses as well. And then I just have this little candle and then another rattan basket where I keep some of my SD cards and all that jazz. So next section is the bed area. My favorite section has got to be the bedside table. This bedside table is 12 pounds from Ikea that I just painted white so that it has a more bohemian kind of lighter vibe to match my room. And then I pop this pillow that my cousin got me for Christmas underneath because it covers the laptop and some of my notebook. And I sit on this actually whenever I'm editing. So I sit on this and then I put my laptop on here and I just edit. But let me show you something super, super interesting about this little number right here. This is actually a candle melter candle melter like a wax melter and what it is it's a lamp but you put your candle underneath it and the bulb in it heats up the wax and you can still smell the scent of the candle without lighting it up with fire and it's so much more safer than using actual flame and you can put it by your bed and it won't have any like chances of putting your bed on fire or anything <laughs> and the current candle i'm using is actually by elemis oh there you go i think you can see it better now but you can just see like how the wax has melted on top. Also, by using this little lamp thing, it makes your candle last so much more longer compared to using flames because it just melts the top layer of it. This candle is Soothing Glow by Elemis and it smells like a luxurious hotel. I'm obsessed with this scent. And then this little plant I am so obsessed with because I love neutral tones. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my whole room is quite neutral with a hint of gold. But I absolutely love this little plant because it's very neutral and it just gives off a really nice vibe to the room. The vase is from Ikea, but this little section right here is just from Selfridges and it's three quid, three quid for these little white bits too and like two of the grass leaves thing. But this is a dried plant, so it lasts forever i don't need to water it which is amazing <laughs> this little section is just airy very light very clean and relaxing but above my bed i've got this little quote again i'm really into quotes i love very inspiring quotes and i just stick them around my room this one is let your light shine i love this one this one is from audacious church and this little plant section right here i actually macrame this myself i was so proud of myself there's a lot of videos of macrameading on YouTube. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Both of the plant pots from Ikea and then both hanging plants as well from Ikea. So as for my bed, my bed may look simple, but it is a masterpiece of comfort, of coziness. And I will show you exactly why this little number is just as you can tell, I have three different textured pillows <laughs> because I like to have my bed really white or really neutral, but I don't want it to just be boring. So I, I added a few textures in there. This pillow is like a Sherpa feel pillow. I'm really loving this one. I love it. It's so cozy, especially for winter. And then this one is a silk pillowcase that my cousin got me for Christmas. So thank you very much, cousin. I like to have three pillows because I put one on each side. So one on that side, one on this side so I don't fall and then one where I put my head. Let me know if you're the same. And then this pillow is from Muji again. I really like it because it's so neutral but then it has beige and white stripes 
and I think the beige just really goes well with the whole neutral vibe of the bedroom. And then for my bed, this is why it's like sleeping on a cloud on my bed. Basically, I have obviously my mattress and then I have this Sherpa, like this fleece throw blanket that I just whacked on top of the mattress and it goes all the way in so it's super warm inside the bed and it's just so cozy it's like a, it's like sleeping on a massive teddy bear and then I have two layers of blanket this blanket if you listen it's like ASMR and it's just like eh, so nice but it's so warm they've got different togs in Ikea and the togs basically represents different warmth and I believe this one is like the most highest tog because I'm a cold person, I get quite cold at night so I've just got the highest tog so that it's nice and warm in the winter and this guys, this is why I'm gonna change your life this bed sheet is brushed cotton it's not just any type of cotton like this is just normal cotton like this has just 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 use just the ordinary cotton you know but this one is brush cotton and brush cotton is basically supposed to trap the heat inside and it acts as an insulator so that when you're inside your quilt it traps the heat inside and it's just so warm oh my gosh if you haven't tried brush cotton and you can get them really cheap from like Donnell or Asda Tesco they do brush cotton sheets it's the warmest thing ever. You might not think it's a big deal, but if you try brush cotton, you'll thank me later. Honestly, it's so, it's just so warm. And then on top of that, I've got this little throw blanket from Ikea. I just really like this because I find that it goes really well with the whole nude and beige and neutral vibe to my room. So I just threw it on there and it also adds extra warmth. So I like it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found a little bit of a tip on how to have some storage with it still looking a bit aesthetic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.